Gloucestershire makes solid start with the bat after Sussex declaration on another rain-hit day at Arundel. Sussex decided to declare overnight on their 351 for 8, so Gloucestershire began day 3 with the bat as play got underway as scheduled at Arundel. Dent and Hammond made a solid start, but four balls after Hammond sent Robinson to the rope, he was on his way as Briggs took an excellent catch at second slip. Dent responded with boundaries from Sikande and Robinson as he was joined by Bracey in testing conditions. They dug in against some probing bowling while putting the occasional bad ball to the boundary as they were able to take the score past 50. And the fours were starting to come a bit more regularly as Dent sent Jordan to the boundary three times in quick succession. Before Visa tempted Bracey with a wide one and the batsman picked out Briggs at point. Dent dug in again in partnership with Roderick before Roderick loosened the shackles with two boundaries and an over off Visa. And Dent remained to reach his 50 before the rain arrived to bring a slightly early lunch break. The rain kept the players off the field until after tea and when the players returned Dent and Roderick looked to be making up for lost time as they went on the attack. With both batsmen helping themselves to boundaries off both Sikande and Robinson as the batsmen moved to a 50 partnership. But Dent was soon on his way for 59. Chris Jordan returned for a new spell and strangled him down the leg side to be caught behind by Brown. Roderick remained to reach his 50 with a boundary driven over Briggs's head, but an over later the rain came again and the players had to go off. And soon after the umpires decided that was that for the day. They'll return for the final day's play tomorrow, weather permitting, but time is running out for a positive result.